Wow, welcome back. Uh, this is the praise mix you're watching from different places. So thank you so much for keeping us company. The song I'm going to link to this to make one Christian uh, Shusho featuring uh, Saint Stevo. And make one Kekwelezia Tusana at the genesis of the track Pale Vio. Wow, to make one Kekwelezia Pale. Especially the artist I'm going to make one Mikavu. That is the track. And then make one Kekwelezia Nani. Baraka Music. Baraka Music, one of the top artists and Afanya Mziki Wake. Especially Kabongo Kidogo. Numsea uh, Kona Story sana eh tunajua mziki wake alianza kufunga stage so ukiona zile the big stage to understand me kwa season ya campaign mbona all the portable stages mko hapa na pale he was the one uh, kifunga those stage hapa na pale to make sure that uh, eh ni nisaidie spana nisaidie kitu fulani nisaidie screw fulani amekuwa pale anaona ameweza kukuja mpaka ka record mziki na saizi god ameweza kumwe elevate on the next level and uh, we are thanking god for him because one of the minister ambaye uh, kwa kweli anafanya uh, kazi nzuri goma imekuwa inaitoka inaitoa moyo wangu uh, that is the track so you can be able to dive into it at your own free time na kuweza kuweza kubarikiwa tu sana so that you can listen to the whole full song i'll see you welcome to the war room section this is the this is the, the place whereby we just dive into the word of the day and a prayer kiasi so that you can be able to uh, to pray with you pale nyumbani so uko pale hivyo make sure that you send in your sms uh, of prayer prayer request up hivi i can be able to dive in na ku make sure that nampisha pastor andy ana come through na kuweza kushughulikia haja ya moyo wako au sio so karibu sana pastor andy asante wiki hii imekuwaje imekuwa njema na shukrani mungu mm -hmm. yeah Wow, pale kanisani shughuli na joko up and down. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is okay. Mm -hmm. Then after that, mm -hmm. service it yeah. Okay, just just a quick one just mm -hmm. to understand uh, yes, maybe how how was your week bana? My week. How was your week? Na nini liweza ku stand out? <laughs> yeah, I thank God for the week. By mm -hmm. the way, I'm a candidate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pursuing a diploma in building technology mm -hmm. at Sangalo Institute. So, mm -hmm. I'm having my paper. So, mm -hmm. I've been busy with my uh, studies mm -hmm. just to finalize it. My, it is my final year. Mm -hmm. So, I don't want to to wow. be ashamed wow. of wow. something. Yeah. And so that's uh, yeah. I'm so glad that in a come whereby you've been talking about time and season. So yes. you have understand you have understood your season yeah, and you're ready to it. dive into it. Yeah, sure. And uh, you've been having a quiet time. Yeah. But although in a in a book setup. Sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and I job here umetenga muda wako. Thank you so much na your week imekuwa that hapa na pale when talk about exams hapa hivi. Yeah. And ile that ka season si rahisi but uh, at the end of the day you've been able to prepare something for us. So acha nikupishe tu so that you can be able to minister to our viewers. Thank you sir. Wow, karibu. Asante. Mm -hmm. Praise God, church online. I am happy to be ministering to you this morning, the word of God. And I pray that we bow down our heads as we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity, for this moment that we want to hear from you. We pray, O oh Lord, that give us the grace, open our eyes that we may see and understand your word. And it is in Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. So the topic of this morning, we are going to talk about re-establishment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, the topic re-establishment, the word, the word re-establishment, it is the process of rebuilding or rebuilding things that were once built, but they, in some reasons, were destroyed along the way. It means you were established before, but because of some reasons, something came and destroyed that establishment that you had before. Now, when we study this topic of re-establishment, we first have to get to understand where you were before you came now down and now you need re-establishment. So, before you think of re-establishment, for this case we are talking about re-establishment by God. It is God whom we trust that he comes and re-establishes us. We have to acknowledge that we've gone our own ways. We've, we've done our own things against or away from the word of God. And we've found ourselves in trouble. Now we are coming back. Seeking for forgiveness. Seeking for God's hand. For his mercy. To come and restore us back to his love. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now the verse of the day is Psalms 13. Verse 12, it should be Psalms 33, verse 12. And the Bible says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Now, we are blessed. The courage we have is with the knowledge of God. 
The courage we have comes from knowing our God because he is dependable. He, we trust in him because he never fails. Hallelujah. Let's get uh, to read our Bible uh, from Daniel 11, 32, the B part of it. Daniel 11, verse 2. And the Bible says, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall, be, shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. Hallelujah. Now, our courage, our strength comes from our knowing God. Hallelujah. The people who do know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Now, the knowledge of our God, the knowledge that God is backing us, He's too loving to leave us to be destroyed. He's too loving to leave us to go down. Hallelujah. He has good plans for us. The Bible says we can also get uh, to get to know from Jeremiah 9.23. Jeremiah 9.23, the Bible says, Thus says the Lord, Let not the wise glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man not glory in his might, let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glorieth, that's verse 24, that, but let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me. Now, our glory as Christians, we glory not because we have cars. Cars are not, uh, cars are important. But we don't glory because we have cars. As Christians, we don't glory because we have good marriages, working marriages. As Christians, we don't glory because our, our life is, uh, we have money maybe. That's not enough for our glory. The Bible gives us a... Uh, a direction here that let him that glory glory in this that he understands me now if you come to me and tell me my life is counting if you come to brag to me that at least you're making it life we live in a generation where you can meet your fellow student you are together during high school or primary then after some time you meet now you are meeting you are asking to know how the person has progressed we see ourselves flutter around how you've built houses how you've bought cars and we sweep under the carpet the knowledge of our god we don't give it a priority hallelujah now I came this morning to let you know that in whatever you have, if God is not at the center of it, you really have nothing. If all that you glory in, God is not part of it, then you have a long way to go. Hallelujah. Let's continue. John 17 verse 3. John 17 verse 3. And this is eternal life. That's what the Bible is saying. And this is eternal life that they might not, that they may know me, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. Eternal life in our domain is that we might know God, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom has been sent. Now, even before we talk about restoration, you have to be put right with God. You have to know the Lord. You have to have that eternal life that the scripture explains it as the knowledge of Christ. Hallelujah. The last verse on this, Philippians 3.10. The Bible says, I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings and becoming like him in his death our christian pursuit should not be cars and money as good as they are i acknowledge we need them but we should not enthrone them and put them above god this is what the scripture is teaching us that your lifetime pursuit should be the knowledge of god and christ hallelujah now we are talking about re-establishment here. Now, 
before you are re-established, you have to get to know what took you down. You are up some time back and now you are down. So you have to understand how you got yourself from the track and you are now a failure. Now, here are things that got us back to failure. Number one, carelessness. Sometimes we are not careful about our lives. We are not discerning about the actions that we take. We should be careful in our decision making. Hallelujah. You have to ask God in prayer. You have to seek God to help you out so that you will not be careless in your life. Number two, ignorance. Some of us got into trouble because we don't know we got ourselves into it. We were ignorant. We, we lacked knowledge. So it is my urge to you that we pursue knowledge and God shall bless us. Number three reason why we got back to failure is demonic attack. Sometimes the Bible says we, not, we do not wrestle against principalities, a blood of flesh, but we wrestle against powers, principalities, and rulers of darkness. Now, we have to be spiritually alert to discern whether there is a demonic attack over our lives. And upon realizing this, we have to call for God's divine power that we shall be re-established. Now, I want to help us with the keys for re-establishment. Having thought about all of these, how now that you found yourself down, now that you found yourself a failure, what exactly do you have to do so that you come back to the track? Number one, self-examination and evaluation. Hallelujah. Self-examination and evaluation. Second Chronicles 13.5 Let's read the Bible. Second Chronicles 13.5 Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. As Pastor Andy Unapot after verse of uh, Palivio, uh, allow me to just go through uh, the feedback up IV and Rukwana Rudiko Pastor Andy up IV. Uh, just now it was Stephen Mongolians so already tuned in uh, watching the praise mix. Thank you so much. And then Kuna Wanyonya and Asema watching the praise mix all the way from Bungoma. Rash Bashir where and Asema Fort Jesus all the way uh, from Busia watching the show. Thank you so much. Kuna Dennis Nyongesa and Asema watching the show. Nikona Muisi Primary. Uh, pali ipi wana watch na Masi, then kuna Margaret, kuna Collins hapo hivyo, and then kuna Annette, and then kuna Doris, then Brenda hapo hivyo, pamoja Hadi Tamati, thank you so much. Kuna Morris anasema watching the show, ni kwa Cabras, asante sana, and then kuna Kelvin hapo hivyo, anasema ni kwa Locked Kandui representing, and then kuna hapo hivyo, kuna Collins uh, uh, wa Malua, anasema watching the praise mix from Nomwesi Primary, ni, uh, uh, I think ni mepitia hiyo hapo hivyo, amongeza mtu moja hapo hivyo, ito Bernard, uh, thank you so so much and then kuna ray uh, uh, um, ray austin as my uh, chebosi uh, miendo dispensary were tuned in uh palavio so keep your feedback coming i'll be going through them uh throughout the show nikiangalia kuna endaja hapa na palavio but right about now pastor andy endelea kwa sasa thank you so much bro mm -hmm. now we are talking about the keys to restoration mm -hmm. and number one i've said it is self examination and evaluation mm -hmm. you have to come to yourself and evaluate yourself and examine yourself where you're coming from and where you're going through now second chronicles second corinthians 13 5 mm -hmm. here is what the bible says that sorry uh, the Bible says, examine yourselves whether ye be in faith. Mm -hmm. Prove your own selves. Mm -hmm. Know ye not your own selves, but how that Christ is in you. Mm -hmm. You have to come to yourself. You have to examine yourself. You have to see your life and see where you're coming from and where you're going. Now, sometimes we get in trouble and we don't know ourselves until somebody comes and tells you, bro, you're dying. Bro, this and this is not happening. Bro, unayanguka exam. Bwana si fiwe. Now, when you come to yourself, you should have some time to meditate upon, upon your life. You, are, you should have time to think about your life. To see, to draw the line and examine what exactly am I going? What exactly is costing me to this, uh, to this level? 
The Bible says in Psalms 4, 4, Tremble and do not sin. Meditate your heart upon... Meditate in your heart on your bed and be still. Have some time and be still and meditate upon your life. Now, there is a measure of pain that draws you back to line. When you are, your life is too painful, you get to a point where you get now tired with the pain. Now, you come to yourself and examine and get to know, how did I enter into this? And now that I'm in, how can I get out? Let's talk about the, the story of the prodigal son. This man left his father, left his family. The family was good and decided that he should go and stay on his own so that he can do his own things. He didn't know that that decision was a reason for his failure tomorrow. Mm. Now, the Bible says, and when he came to himself, the Bible did not say the angel came and talked to him. The Bible did not say a man came and talked to him. It is within your power to come to yourself. Hallelujah. It is within your decision to come to yourself and you should get tired with that kind of life you may have gotten yourself in. Hallelujah. Lamentation 3.40 The Bible says, Let us therefore examine our own ways. If a year passes without you examining your life, Bro, you should not leave that. You should come back to yourself. If a month goes without you examining your life, you may easily fail. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, let's read about the story of the prodigal son from Luke chapter 15. Luke chapter 15. Let's get to know what exactly took this man out of the trouble he was in. And now he came back to himself. And decided to go and meet his family, his father. And we thank God the father did not reject him. Luke 15. Let's start from verse 17. Luke 15 from 17. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to share? And I perish with hunger. Now, the first step he took is to arise and to go to the Father. That's uh, verse 18. I will arise and go to my Father. And I will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. Now, after coming, yourself, uh, coming to yourself and examining yourself, the first point there is you... You, you gain the courage now to go back to your father because you messed. You should be beaten. You should be put into jail. Now you messed. But when you gain the courage now to go back, because I'm very sure if the, the, the father was a temperance, he would have done something. He would have even killed him because he destroyed his life. The father had given him a good reason to stay. He had given him a good environment at home. But this man comes and he's out of his mind and he, he goes away. Now, when he comes back, our fathers, I love uh, the parents who love their kids. They, 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 they can take you back. They, they are too loving. Now, that's the nature of God. He's too loving to leave you to be destroyed. He's too loving to leave you to die. When you come back to him, he has that pity. He has that heart for forgiveness over your life. He knows when you fail. There are so many destinies that will fail. Our God knows that we don't live on our own. There are so many people depending on you. It is not even your family alone. When you rise, the church will grow. You will be a blessing to humanity. Those who are poor, you are the one who believes in them. Now, when you re realize yourself and come back to God, it is because of the love of God that he receives you back. Now, he receives you not only because of you. He receives you because of his love, number one. Number two, he receives you because he knows through you, he can use you to convey his word to the generation. The Bible says, uh, in the book, it should be John. The Bible says, when John came, he came as a witness. 
he came as a witness to uh, to show the earth now we as the christians we are witnesses whenever you go you have to portray that picture of god whatever you do if it is that workplace you are going in you should have something that is of god somebody should look at you and see god through you when god wants to bless a person he will not come from heaven he will use you now when we go astray god is is angered it is like we are going against the will of god that's why he receives back uh, everyone who is astray now i speak to everyone who may have messed around maybe uh, you lost the trap you were a christian before but now things are not working but now you are a student but things are not working you are nearing the examination but you have nothing in head hallelujah maybe your marriage has a uh, turned into a den of whatever you are struggling in everything you are doing i came with a word of encouragement from god that he's too loving he's too loving to leave you to die hallelujah let's talk about now uh, after now you have the courage to go back to the father you have to make a step of faith hallelujah now faith is not just believing that god can do it if this man believed that he can go back to the father and he will receive him back then just stood or slept and just kept on thinking about this he will not be saved the next step you have to take is the step of courage now i describe faith as that action you take not just believing the action you take Hallelujah. He took the action to go and it takes courage. Your marriage now is in, in, in destruction. You have to take the courage and go before God and say, I'm a success. I'm not a failure. Your examinations, your, your academic status is, is not well. You have to gain the courage and believe in God, in yourself. Now, there's a very interesting verse. I think I should just read. Uh, it is in First Kings seven three. The Bible says uh, it should be Gideon. Let me just. It is just here. Seven three. Now therefore, proclaim in the ears of the people, saying, Whosoever is fearful and afraid, let him return and depart early from Mount Gilead. Now. This was the process where they were gathering men to go for war. And the leader stood, he stood and said, Now therefore, if you are fearful, if you are afraid, you are not going with us. And the Bible says, he told them to, to, to depart even early. Just leave now. You are wasting our time. If we are together with you here and you are afraid, you just have to go back. Amen. Now, it is my encouragement to you that don't go back. Mm -hmm. Have gained the courage. If you, the, the journey to go back and the journey to go forward is the same. Imagine you're in the mi middle of the sea. You have to go to the other end. And if you decide now to, to, go, to go back, that journey is the same. So don't waste your time going back. Wanna see fuel. Now, now, coming back. Now, the, after the son came back to the, to the father, there's a principle that you have to understand. You have to be humble and broken. Don't come with your, your ego. You should stink your ego and come down to yourself. You should not be arrogant. That's the word. Hallelujah. And the last one is now after you come back, you have to gain the knowledge now to restart again. Now you are in the house now of your father. Now he accepted you. The first thing you have to know now, gain the knowledge so that you will not go back to what took you out of the family, out of the faith of God. You have to gain the knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah. And with that, you will make it. Now, I speak to those who are in storm right now. It takes the prophetic. You have to be inclined to a man of God somewhere. Don't just say, I worship here, here, and here. You have to have your spiritual father, your spiritual mother. And that person is the one who is going to pray for you. He's, he's going to pray restoration to you. He's going to pray re-establishment. If you are, uh, you are 
you are occupied or you are uh, demon possessed it is not your own uh, uh, working that will get you out of this it is the prophetic you have to be prayed of and the lord shall be benevolent enough to help you wow thank wow. you bro Wow, thank you so much Pastor Andy uh, awesome. for coming through with that dope word. Awesome. Uh, at the end of the day, Kitty Mini excited to Sana from the word of the day that the journey for going back and uh, going forward is just the same. So yeah. it's you to choose. Well on Takakurudi back and we just want to go back for so many stuff and remember the the bit the bit the bit the, the, the bitter truth about it, uh the previous one you've already gone through. So yeah. you need to, to pursue and go forward for each and everything you go to Salama Sana. Yeah. So Pastor Andy before even we link up what to put up in nini mm -hmm. you can just say a prayer to so many people on me on after zama and especially to uh, in line with the word of the day about me meza kunena hapa hivi so at the end of the day they can be able to come out from those uh places uh amba mm -hmm. wako from the uh the uh, uh those places amba at the end of the day kuna wale wakiangalia hivyo anaona okay there is nothing to say thank you to god Mm -hmm. So if through your prayer man, somebody and that stand out believers, okay, through Pastor Andy, mm -hmm. uh, the praise mix, they have been able to have a smile today, have mm -hmm. been able to have a, a, a dope day throughout uh, this day. Mm -hmm. So what mm -hmm. can you so that you can say just a prayer na you mm -hmm. can just catch up Kirasi. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. bro. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I want to let you know is that you are not alone in this move. Mm -hmm. Our God will not leave you. He will never forsake you in whatever trouble you are in right now. Now, I want to let you know that when you decide to go, let's talk about the storm. Now, when Jesus and these men crossed and went, decided to go to the other side, that's when they encountered the storm. Now, if your life is, has no storm right now, it means you have not decided to go to the other place, to the other side of the sea. Now, going to the other uh, side of the sea, it is... Uh, the courage you have. Now, if you have not gain the courage to go to the other side of your marriage, to, to go to the other side of your financial breakthrough, then you will not encounter storms. Now, I want to talk to those people who are in storm right now. You are on the right track. Jesus is with you. When the, the storm got boisterous in, uh, in that story we, we know about uh, the storm, Jesus was with them and Jesus was relaxed. They, they became worried and they were like, we are being destroyed. Alas, master, the storm is, is, is rising too high for us. But Jesus was resting. Now, I want uh, to let you know that in the midst of the storm, we should not cry. We should gain the rest that comes with knowing that Jesus will not leave you. And I want to pray for everyone who is in storm right now. All you need is the staying power now you are not going the, the, god will not remove the storm he will just give you the grace to go through the storm hallelujah so that you'll be strengthened so i pray to you in the name of jesus christ that whoever is in the storm right now as we are talking everyone listening to me everyone who will listen to me thereafter i pray in the name of jesus christ that i serve that the staying power the power to pay the price that you will come out of the storm successfully i release it over your life in the name of jesus christ you will not struggle the, the, your destiny is too small a reason for god's word to fail for the first time your marriage is too small a reason for god's word to fail for the first time He's too powerful. He's too mighty to leave you. He's too loving to leave you. I want to encourage you. Be up. Celebrate because he's going to help you out. Celebrate because the prophecy says you will be out. You will be out of the storm by the grace of God. Now I want to let you know that you made it. You made it. Regardless of the situation. Open your eyes and see that God is talking to you right now. That the storm are too small a reason for you to be a success in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray and believe. Amen. 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 That is the the war room section. Uh, catch up with us next uh, Sunday for another dope word. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Pastor Andy, for coming through. Thank Maybe at a Koharaka too, what one is a wapi, just to link up on social media uh, mm -hmm. in, a, in a dope way so that you can be able to interact with them. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> So, we can put our Facebook, mm -hmm. we can
MC Jonte. Okay, my name is Andrew John Wafula. So mm -hmm. on Facebook, you can get and catch up with me uh, at MC Jonte. Mm -hmm. That's my name on Facebook. Instagram, me Wafula John Andrew 254. And that's enough, I think. Wow, wow, yeah, wow. So, link up with the pastor Andy Ajonte. Okay, that's mm. the name. <laughs> Andy Takam through Badai, like it's a Kavizuri Sana. Link up with him so at the end of the day you can have a conversation. Come on, Kijano, I feel like I, you, I, cannot be, I cannot be in that position that Neza open up to maybe, uh, maybe while uh, ministers about Mbua Menda Kidogo, uh, Pastor Jonte, you call up IV, Pastor Andy, you call up IV, uh, Kuna Pastor Dominic Palevio, and then Kuna amazing, amazing, amazing Pastor Frank. Yeah, that is the name. Uh, what I'm going this platform now, you can be able to link up now so that you can be able at the end of the day just go open up as a as a youth, as a Kijana Pale out. Now, life is going to happen on your way. Right. So, thank you so much, Pastor Andy, for coming through. Uh, so may God bless you. Watch out for increase. Na kila kito kwa salama sana. And you to me, Bamuda Kidogo, four minutes. Wa blessed one, but Amuna Tatizo Kidogo. Uh, the blessed one coming up with a, a, one of the amazing mama, it was Faustin. And I'm come through. Make sure that and at party that testimony about maybe we'll come across dia i'm a god 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 let me just go to the music dogo and it was Emmanuel, in Ngome ito Emmanueli by uh, ito Masha Mapenzi uh, is one of the artists na kwa na kambaku link up with you Masha Mapenzi ni nani na kwa nini ya kaimba Emmanuel au siyo so uh, quick one wacha tuingia kwenye commercial break ama, ama tuingia kimziki pia takwa salama sana but I'll let you know Masha Mapenzi ni nani au siyo